Hey guys, welcome back. I am feeling so inspired. I've been watching Caitlin with Plant Life in the Tropics a lot, and she has been putting a lot of her climbing plants on wooden boards, and she's having incredible results. Now, I don't know about you, but I would love it if some of my philodendrons and uncommon plants would just to push out some great growth and get those huge, beautiful, mature leaves that we all love, right? So my plan today is to show my shopping at Lowe's, um, picking out, you know, what wooden boards I wanna do. I know they have a big selection of options. And then I'm gonna show following Caitlin instructions and actually putting a lot of my plants on planks and, and how I do that. You know, a lot of people love to use moss poles, but I have trouble with moss poles. I'm an underwaterer. It's my like biggest Achilles heel as a, a plant mom is, is underwatering. And with moss poles, they're fantastic if you can stay on top of watering them, but uh, you know, they just require a lot of upkeep in that way. When I saw Caitlin's video about putting them on planks, I thought, oh, solves all my problems. I don't have to water. I don't have to worry about pests. You know, it's, they're very inexpensive and I can get huge ones. I did reach out to her and she said I could do a video about it. So I'm super excited because so many of my plants are just dying to grow. And I've been hesitant to do the moss pole thing, so I was gonna chop them all, but I would love for them to grow and get those mature leaves. So now I have the perfect solution and I am so excited. If you are new to my channel, well, Welcome, my name is Ashley, and as you can see, I'm obsessed with all things houseplants. I am a crazy plant person, so if that brings a smile to your face, and you're a crazy plant person as well, um, make sure to subscribe. That's the way for my episodes to show up in your newsfeed, and I am also on Instagram and love my plant community, so maybe give me a follow on there as well. Okay, I'm excited to show you my shopping at Lowe's and all of the great stuff I found, and then putting some of these gorgeous plants on planks. I cannot wait. Here's my cart of random things I've picked up. First up, this is all shiplap. I think this is too, too, you know, it's not wide enough, but this is a good size wide. And also I love this because it's very thin and I'm not gonna be putting them in my planters. I'm gonna be putting it just on the outside of the planters. So I wanna be able to pick it up and carry it around. So I'm considering it and it's honestly a lot less expensive than some of the other wood I've looked at. This is $10 and this is, you know, $11. Let's see what else. These are really cool. Like, I love the way this looks. But look how crazy expensive it is. That's what I'm seeing. It's like, you know, lumber is expensive right now. And it's $53 for just one of these. And I want to get quite a few planks. Here we have some other ones. And these are by wood type. Um, here we have oak and poplar and, and pine. And... These are great, except they're a little bit thick, so they're heavy. Um, so I'm back and forth on that, and then I saw some other wood over here that I'm thinking about. That's cool. I'm also gonna pick up some of these today. They're just smaller pieces for the rest of my plants because I have to say, I'm about done with moss poles. They're just, I have to water them all the time and if I get a single pest on my plant, they're just all up in those moss bowls. So I, I'm just gonna try to convert all of them to like big planks, baby planks, any kind of planks I can find. And the fact that I can, you know, moss bowls can be kind of expensive and you know, I could get one of these, stick it in my plants, you know, good deal. Some more shiplap. This is actually kind of pretty. I like the grain. I don't know, it says pattern stock. Here are some more planks. Um, and a lot of these are less expensive. You can get some here. I don't know, they're about the same price, I guess. Like, um, probably about $10, $11 for a larger size one. The thing I personally am not crazy about with these is that they're really thick and they're really heavy. So it's harder for me to like pick them up and move them around since mine are gonna be pretty tall. But uh, they do have these little short ones here. $4 and $1.99 for the little ones. Some primed ones here. 
Okay, so Lowe's had so many great choices. I was actually really surprised at all the different options they had. They had all different shapes and sizes, all different colors. I have a lot of plants that I want to be putting on planks. So today is kind of phase one. So the first kind that I got is actually shiplap. It's very thin, as you can see, and it's the perfect size. You know, as a plant crawls up, they can actually, there's some room for the aerial roots to spread out as opposed to something very skinny. Um, you know, you want something that has enough space. According to Caitlin, you want something with enough space for the aerial roots to grow and for the plant to really thrive. Now they had a lot of different colors, um, which I thought was very cool. And th these actually came as eight foot tall. That was the only option, I think, for this one. So I had to actually use a hacksaw and cut off a, few, a foot off the top of them because they're very, very tall. Um, but they're perfect because I really wanted to get those huge mature leaves and you have to have enough, you know, runway for them to get that. So this was the first option. And these are for my like larger plants that I'm gonna be putting on these where they already have a good start. Like for instance, this Chia Pence, like look at this thing. He's already, you know, growing quite a bit. He's already a few feet tall. And look at this Mayo Eye. It's so desperate <laughs> to climb up one of these. Now I did get these other wooden boards and they were so reasonable, like $3, $2, $4. And some of them are really, you know, a nice height. And these are gonna be for my smaller plants that want to climb. Did make it a priority to get the ones that were kind of wide. So I got some kind of really long ones and some smaller ones. I did go ahead and repot a lot of these plants. Um, you know, they, they really needed to be repotted and I wanted to go ahead and do that before I got them set up in their new plank home. I got these terracotta pots from Lowe's. They were $4, I think. I got these saucers. So I'm just going to set that up like that, put a lot of these plants in there, and that just looks really nice, I think. So the process to do this is ridiculously simple. So once you get to this step, all you need is a little bit of tape. According to Caitlin, all I need to do is just go ahead and tape it on, and the tape will not harm the plant. This just allows the aerial roots to like Get, have a chance to get stabilized and used to the space and know, okay, we're not going anywhere. This is this is my new home. Let me try to dig dig in and really get, um, get comfortable and, and set up. Maybe I'll just push this one back too. Okay, yeah. But once the aerial roots figure out that it's stable and they can go ahead and start really digging in, you won't be able to move the plant at all. It'll be completely latched onto the wood. And at that point, you know, you can take the tape off and you won't really need it anymore. This is just to help the plant, you know, give it a little bit of guidance. One of the things that was important to me was getting a plank that I could easily move around, especially with these being so tall, they could easily have become really, really heavy. So that was one of the things that I liked about the shiplap was that I can like, if I wanna repot it or if I wanna move it to a different room or area, that's no problem. So. Now, as you can see here, like here's a little aerial root and I just wanna like kind of smash him up there against it. Now these will be pushed up against it. I'm gonna put a little tape here because he'll get some new aerial roots coming from this node. This is gonna make my life so much easier, truly. I won't be stressing about what to do or if I should chop them or- Isn't this Squammy so cute? I love him, my huge head. Like look how fu- I love this Squammy, like how fuzzy it is. This poor Brantianum, I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. It is growing a lot, but the leaves were coming out all kind of shriveled up. It wasn't a pest problem. It wasn't a light problem. And I went in to repot all these plants and it was it needed to be repotted. So it's gonna love, love, love having the opportunity to grow like it wants to now. As you can see, this plant has a ton of growth points and not all of them are tall enough yet. So as they get tall enough and, and long enough, I will at that point just keep taping them. It has tiny little aerial roots starting. And if I remember correctly, Caitlin even tapes over the aerial root a little bit and just like puts it on there. Cause these are little tiny baby ones and I wanna make sure that they get on there. This potatum is more than halfway up the plank already. Um, so he's gonna be thrilled about this new setup. All right, next up is this beautiful mayo eye. This leaf, as you can see, it's its oldest leaf and it is dying. 
but it has tons of new growth as you can see and it hasn't put out many you know good leaves it's because it's just pumping out a lot of this type of growth to try to find somewhere to latch on to and then once it does latch on then it'll put out some new you know some good leaves so i have all of these lined up here and the, my ring light knocked over the first one and it did a whole domino effect and put a huge hole in the wall i'm so upset <laughs> the aerial roots on this look at it it's flipping nuts i think that's good on that one Next up, I'm setting my plants up with these, which is going to be a little bit of a different process. And I'm also setting up a grow light that's gonna be pointing on these guys that I'll show you as well. Ignore this melanochrysum. These are all super old leaves and they've always looked a little bit meh. And I just repotted it, so hopefully it'll start to put out some new growth. There's a gap in between the nursery pot and the cash pot. And you could just put it right in to the to, to the pot, but I'm not doing that. So as you can see, I go in between the nursery pot and the cash pot. So I just did a little taping here. I'm gonna do one more here. I've done mostly philodendrons, but this is also a really good idea for Hoya as well. So I don't wanna tape over the new leaves, but I do want to tape over the aerial roots. This beautiful, whoop. <laughs> I'm really excited about the varicosum. I am so ready for this guy to start pumping out some awesome, awesome leaves. All right, aerial roots. I did the same thing here, where he's put it between. And this one is pretty tall, maybe like four foot. My last one for today is this Florida ghost. And this is pretty typical of philodendrons. There's been like some repetition of this today where when it's looking for something to latch onto, it'll put out this long vine and then it'll put out some aerial roots and it won't make any leaves. My mayo I was doing that. My pedatum was kind of doing that. Once this plant figures out that it is on a plank, it's gonna be so happy, right? Poor thing. Now, Caitlin actually washed her planks before she went ahead and put her plants on them, so maybe you want to do that step. Almost to the tippy top already. Look how cute it is. Dee -dee. Last up, grow lights. This wall over here does not get very much light. Um, it does get this window, but this window shoots afternoon light over in this direction a little bit, but it, this won't get much light. So I've set up this um, Bright Labs grow light, probably link it in the description. And it's super easy to use and I like that. I'm just gonna move them around. It um, clips on as you can see there. And I'm just gonna move it around so that it points to all of the different plants. All right, I turned on the grow lights and hopefully it'll just, you know, a little bit of supplemental light for these guys. Like as you can see, it's getting some light there and not over here. So I'm gonna see how they do and if they need more light, I'm going to set something up over here. For okay, that. guys, so it's looking like this is gonna be my plank wall for now, but I'll be doing updates on Instagram, I'm sure, on my story as new growth happens. And uh, yeah, this was pretty high level. Now, if you want more detail, I definitely recommend checking out Caitlin's episode on this. She has a few of them. Her channel overall is just awesome. Like, I love all of her videos and her care videos, especially, have helped me so much. I'm including all of her information below for you guys. As always, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Thought. Let me know if you have any additional tips. Are you enjoying the care videos? I'm trying to mix it up and do some kind of different types of content. I recently did a day in the life video. So definitely leave a comment and let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. That way my episodes will at least show up in your news feed because I have all sorts of cool new content coming out. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.